Let's talk about raising quail on your homestead. Although they may be classified as poultry just like chickens, they are often overlooked by homesteaders. While reading through some of our comments on a previous video, a viewer discussed their thoughts on quail. This inspired us to make a video about raising quails, including factors such as housing, food, income streams, and more. If you have any more ideas about animals or plants you would like us to discuss, be sure to let us know in the comments section. As always, you can find your copy of our ebook on raising quail in the description below. Let's get started. Quail are short-tailed game birds, the majority of which originate from North America and Asia. In the wild, quail inhabit open, bushy regions. The hens lay eggs in the springtime, and sometimes the males will help incubate the eggs. At the end of the summer, the chicks have matured enough to leave the parents. In these cases, quail will forage on seeds, berries, and in some cases even debris of fallen leaves and roots and insects too. Quail domestication began in 11th century Japan, and quail rearing was commercialized in Europe in the mid-20th century. China is the largest quail producer, currently totaling roughly 80% of the global quail market. Quail are the smallest farmed bird, but this doesn't mean you can't profit from them, whether it be in the form of a small business or to supplement the diets of your homesteading family. One of the most basic questions you will need to answer before you start raising your quail is where you are going to buy them from. Luckily the internet could have you sorted and help you answer that question in no time. Google searches can put you in touch with nearby rearers, and failing that Facebook marketplace could be worth a try. Online classified pages are also an option. If all else fails, consider visiting local markets and if you see quail eggs on offer, inquire about the supplier's details and check out where they get their supply. There are some basic rules to keep in mind when purchasing your quail. 1. Quail are commonly sold in breeding pairs of two or three, either a single hen and roo or as two hens to a single roo. As expected, egg production will be higher with trios as opposed to duos. Keep the roo population to a minimum when expanding your flock size. Even though quails are rather docile birds, male-on-male -male fighting will likely increase if multiple roos are in a coop. 2. Quail do not handle long-distance travel very well. You should therefore opt to purchase from nearby sellers wherever possible. Depending on your region, you might be able to purchase quail as hatching eggs or day-old chicks. This can be risky though because you can't guarantee the viability and the sex of your quail when buying unhatched eggs. As a homesteader, you are probably aware of the multiple ways to benefit from rearing an animal, whether it be in the form of meat, eggs, milk, wool, and other animal byproducts. Quail are no different. With just a single quail, you can enjoy approximately 200 eggs per year, but production will diminish as the birds age. These can be used to supplement your and your family's diets, or you can sell them if you have larger flocks. Quail eggs are roughly one third of the size of chicken eggs and have a similar taste. High in vitamin B12, selenium, and riboflavin, these eggs pack a nutrient full punch in spite of their small 14 calories. If you are producing on a small scale and are therefore not pasteurizing your eggs, you might want to include a warning label for sensitive people like pregnant women and those with allergies. With larger flocks, you can also sell quail meat. Quail meat is high in value, and you do not need a sophisticated, expensive setup to get started. Like their eggs, quail meat is also very nutritious. Depending on the breed, broiler quails can be slaughtered six to eight weeks after hatching. Some farmers report that restaurants prefer the processed carcasses to weigh approximately 220 grams. You can also consider rearing your own quail and selling the fertilized eggs or young chicks. This can be especially lucrative if quail supply is lacking in your area. By rearing your own quail, you can also experiment with new breeding lines to meet the needs of farmers in your region. There is also the option of supplying quail to hunting farms. Unfortunately, most quail breeds do not become broody and as a result will not sit on their laid eggs. This means you will need to invest in an incubator and regularly check the enclosures for freshly laid eggs. As is the case with any animal, you will need to select the best breed to suit your needs. There are over 70 domesticated quail breeds, so it is likely you will be able to find a breed to suit your exact requirements. If it's eggs you're concerned with, breeds such as the Cottonix and Tuxedo quails could be ideal. The Cottonix quail is considered to be the best layer breed. It can start laying eggs in as little as 7 weeks after hatching. The cotton X is also suitable for meat production, making it a great all-rounder. The barbwhite, white-breasted, and golden giant quails are also common broiler options. The barbwhite is also suitable for sports. They are fast and agile, a great challenge for hunters. Lastly, there are some breeds that are beautifully suited for ornamental purposes. If you're looking to keep quail as pets, the California and button breeds are the breeds to go for. A clean environment is key to quail happiness, which ultimately ensures good production figures of eggs, meat and chicks. Through the centuries of domestication, the natural survival instincts of many quail species has diminished. This means you will need to provide your flock with a big enough cage to not only keep predators out, 
but let the birds roam and fly without injuring themselves. Quail pens are simple enclosures on the ground which allows for roaming similar to that in free range conditions. You can provide your quail with straw and other debris for them to tunnel and hide in. A single quail requires a space of roughly 1.5 square meters but larger, taller enclosures help keep the quail from becoming injured. A cage should also have sunlight and some shade. Quail keep themselves clean by taking dust baths. Boxes of diatomaceous earth can be placed in enclosures to help keep the birds free from external parasites. Between each new generation of quail, the enclosures should be thoroughly thin. Depending on the purpose of your quail, whether it be for eggs, meat or breeding, the nutritional requirements will differ. To optimize meat and egg production, a turkey starter feed can be given to chicks which can be replaced with turkey grower feed once they have matured. Compared to chickens, quails generally require a feed higher in protein. There is debate amongst farmers about whether or not quail are more expensive to feed compared to chickens. Some report that because they are smaller, quail are more cost effective to feed. Others suggest that the high protein feed diminishes profit margins. Ultimately, the cost of feed will depend on your unique situation. Quails also benefit from a generous helping of fresh leafy greens daily. In terms of water, chicken drinkers can be intruded in the enclosures of the mature birds. For young chicks, place small pebbles or rocks in their drinking sources to prevent them from drowning. Fresh water should be replaced daily. We are not promising you a completely stress-free experience when it comes to quail farming. As their meat is still seen as a speciality in many regions, consumers may choose to forego the meat in times of economic struggle. Also, because of their small bodies, it is more labor-intensive to pluck and process a quail carcass compared to that of a larger chicken. Some farmers overcome this by peeling the feathers off in one go post-slaughter. Additional factors such as feed costs, protection in winter, losses to predators and other obstacles will likely impact you in your quail rearing journey. Therefore, we recommend starting off with a small flock and expand as you gain experience. Thorough research, selecting the right breeds, and consulting experts will also increase your chances of success, but ultimately you will learn the most through practical experience. And that brings us to the end of our video on rearing quail. If you have any experience with these birds, please share your valuable tips in the comments. Remember to download your ebook before you go and we will see you in the next video.